So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your voicemail password on your iPhone. Now doing this is actually very basic and it really just doesn't take too much time. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is you want to hop inside of your settings application. Now when you do that, you're going to come into this particular page. Now what you want to do on this page is you basically want to scroll all the way down until you see this little phone toggle that basically comes up right here. So scroll down until you see phone. Now when you tap on phone, so you want to open it up, you want to basically scroll down until you see this little option right here that says change voicemail password. Now, this is where either you can see it or you can't see it. If your specific cell provider, which every cell provider now has voicemail and visual voicemail, you should be able to see this particular option that comes up that says change voicemail password. So go and tap on it, and it's going to tell you to enter a new voicemail password. Funny enough, I guess it doesn't, I guess if you have an existing one, it should go ahead and kind of tell you. I guess for now, I don't even have a voicemail password, at least to this specific phone. So you can go ahead and change your specific voicemail password. If it tells you to enter a new one, that may mean you haven't already set one up first place. So go ahead and enter your old one and then enter a new one. Or if you haven't set one up, you can enter a new one right here. And that's it. Go ahead and click done in the top right corner. And that will basically clear this out for you. And it will basically save everything out. Now, let's say for some reason that doesn't work for you. You can always call your cell phone provider. Most of the time, they should be able to go through and actually, you know, kind of give you a little bit of, you know, a leeway of basically what to do there. Also, if for some reason that doesn't work or if it's being weird, you can always go through and try updating your iPhone. So make your way over into your iPhone settings. You want to click on general, click on software update, go and see if there's an update available, and that might end up fixing the situation for you. So that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that means so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.